Why don't you tell everyone what we, where we're going? Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. Buenos Aires. We are going to Chinatown! <laughs> There you go mate, got the old mango in there. I don't No, no, you have it, you have it, all good. If I was to travel with someone so tight, I would... Tight? Hell yeah, mate, these big footpaths are not built for pedestrians. No, seriously, we're going to Chinatown, I'm trying not to get run over by a car. Yeah, zebra crossings don't mean zebra crossings here. I think it's just a preferred crossing point. Chinatown is a 50 minute walk from our accommodation. It's 40 degrees, not very comfortable, but it's better than being in the freezing cold back home. <laughs> don't worry guys, I'm not taking it for granted. Well, we've come to Chinatown in Chiang Mai. It's not really anything going on here. I suppose it's probably better at night. Because it's a bit dead in the day. Um, all the shops seem to be just selling the same old stuff. And we found it. I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt for some mango sticky rice. I want Good stuff, and I uh, want it good price. Ooh. Actually, it's quite big in here. Mm. Yeah. It's like amazing here, but not amazing in here. Where is it? This looks a little bit mango sticky rice territory. There's little turtles in there. Are they eels? I want mango sticky rice. The one time I want it and I can't find it. How typical is that? Right, we've had to retreat from the heat, like 40 degrees out there, it's just no joke. Now it's feeling a bit faint, so we've had to retreat into this uh, coffee place. Just gonna relax in here for a bit. It's a bit, it is a bit too hot out there, especially if you're walking around a stuffy market that smells pretty strongly of sewage and yeah, shit. Come up with some sort of game plan, because Chinatown was a little, the market was a little bit dead. Didn't even have any mango sticky rice, mate. Right, I've decided I need to inject some energy into this this day, this trip, this journey. So we're uh, we're on our way to some night markets now. There's quite a few that are kind of in a row, um, real close by each other. So hopefully I can find some sticky rice there. That's the mission. As well as loads of cafes here in Chiang Mai, they also have a lot of good restaurants. So if you're into your food, this is definitely going to be a place you don't want to skip on. They've got 56 Michelin Guide restaurants here, spread out across the whole city. And it's not really that big, so there's always going to be one within walking distance. Mate, most of the places aren't even open yet, and it's, the smell in here is already amazing. It's making me really hungry. I think with the Chinatown, I think the one in Bangkok was just so insanely good that going from that to this, it's just been... Like this is just nothing compared to that. The one in Bangkok is insane. But I think that's probably where, where we got, got all the negative vibes from there, but I'm feeling a lot better now we're in the night market area. There's a, there's a lot more going on. Ooh, we found mango sticky rice. We're your first customers. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Cup and cup. Have a good day. Sawadee cup. Sawadee cup. Mango sticky rice, mate. If you've never had mango sticky rice, get to know because it's bloody good. Here you go. You only tasted it because I told you to taste it. Listen, I've tasted it before, right? You would never have ordered this without me. Yeah, I would have. Mm. 
อร่อยไหมอร่อยไทยไทยยูไทยไทยไทยอร่อยไหมนี่ภาษาไทยอร่อยไหมอร่อยไหมอันนี้คืออะไรกันอร่อยไหมอร่อยไหมอร่อยไหมอ๋อ,อ,อไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดีมากดี You have it, mate. You, you've um, you've tainted it. It's yours now. Yours. You've texted it. There you go. Mm. Yeah, Enjoy mm. it, mate. Lovely. Nice. Come, come, come. Don't know why I said thank you. He just robbed a bit of our mango straight out of your plate. He didn't touch any of the rest of it, though. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I don't think so, anyway. <laughs> Enjoy your. Wait, where are we even going? I don't know. Is it that way? This way? Let's go that way. Share and share alike. He had right dirty old hands though. Oh no, there was no way I was eating that off his hand. <laughs> Probably had a few too many beers, I reckon. We've all been there. All right, mango sticky rice, mate. Look at that, yeah? I don't know why it's so good. You get the sweetness from the mango. They put this sort of salty stuff on the rice. It's a bit like rice pudding, sort of texture and taste. And they put these little, little uh, mung, beans. mung beans on. Don't really know what the deal is with them, or what the taste. What, what taste do they bring to the table? They're like it's like crispiness, like texture. Oh, like nice texture. Hold this, please. You get that? It's it nice, nice texture. It's good stuff in it. The mangoes are so perfect all, every time. Oh yeah, wow! Well, it doesn't get much fresher than that. Next on uh, Natalia's agenda is this place, the Night Bazaar. I don't know if it's a night market. It looks a bit more like a, a shopping centre, old school style. I suppose that's what a market is. Nah, nah, no suit for me. Nah, because I've got to carry it around with me. I can't carry it around. Nah. No, definitely not. Have a good day. A bit too bloody early. It's better than the one in that restaurant today. That is a good mango sticky rice, a particularly good one. And you're just eating the whole thing. No, I'm going to have this mouthful and the rest is yours. Well, oh, you've left me all the mango got touched by the man. <laughs> yeah, I see you. I see no. you. Yes, no. give me that. <laughs> we kind of messed up a bit. We're, uh, we're at the markets now, but we forgot to get cash out today. And uh, I don't know if you know this. If you don't know, this is good. you're gonna like this. If you go into a bank with your passport and your bank card, as long as you have a MasterCard, you can get money out no, with no charge. If you go to the ATM, you get charged 220 baht, which is quite expensive. Most of the banks are closed. There's one that's open until 7 p.m. So we're just, uh, we've got to walk 40 minutes now in the wrong direction to get money out. Could use an ATM, I guess, but we've got time and we've got nothing really to do apart from walk around the market, so we might as well just go there and get it done. Hello, boss. Hello, mate, you all right? Ah, uh, making YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Are you famous on YouTube? <laughs> nah, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Nat's moaning and we've got to go and get cash out from the cash machine. One, she also forgot. And two, I don't know, you're the one with the navigation. Yeah, but you take yourself off in directions where I'm not going. Hectic. This is dangerous. We're gonna get run over by the bloody motorbike. Oh my, oh my, that's not safe. Still not safe. Oh, we're gonna die. All right. Two, it's a good excuse to see the place. We go, we go, we're going to walk up, up to an area we have not walked up before, walked to before, and it actually looks quite nice. Look, all is well. Oh, mate. 
way, these, these footpaths are not built for pedestrians. See, you're walking around, you see things like this. You wouldn't have seen that otherwise. No worries. So we're actually in the, the more northeast region of the city now. Doesn't seem to be very touristy at all. Uh, there's a lot of locals here. Just a lot of like small little market shops like this. You see a lot of this in like the uh, more rural areas. So you kind of know you're somewhere with a lot of locals now. Which is cool, I prefer being in places like this. As long as they're friendly, which they usually are. Very quiet here. Some nice garden shops here though, look at all this. Yeah, that's the only thing is the smog. Kind of ruins any nice scenery here at the moment. Apparently this is the peak season, is mid-March to mid-April. And then it sort of pitters out after that. And I don't know when it'll actually end. Hopefully, hopefully we get some nice views when we do the loop. Yeah, I hope so. Surprise it doesn't fly away with all them on there. The people in Chiang Mai so far have been really, really nice. Like They've been really welcoming, really friendly. And when you're walking through areas like this, when it's very quiet and it's very like, it's a residential area basically, with a lot of like local Thai people live here. There's no hotels or anything around here. It's nice to know that the people are friendly. Like if I'm on my own, it's not such an issue, but obviously if I'm with Nat, you know, and people are not very friendly in the area, it might be a bit more of an issue. If you're worried about walking around in Thailand, it's pretty safe. Um, and I feel extremely safe here anyway. There we go, simple as that. 40 minute walk, just saved ourselves five pound 50. Socks. Socks, oh, they're too small. I like long socks. Uh, how much are they? How much? Yeah, 59. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I just feel the, can I feel them please? Yeah, they're, they're actually quite good. Three size, what does that mean? Oh, it's, it fits everyone. Is that right? Oh, to try on. I'm so confused. We're all confused. Oh, it means that they fit everyone. Uh, okay. I get it, I get it. That's cool, that's smart. Okay, what? what? Yeah, get them ones. ones? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's four, four pairs, 200, yeah? Okay, cool, <laughs> right, we've got there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we didn't go to the ATM, basically just got these socks for free. If I was to travel with someone so tight, I would... Tight, money tight. conscious. I probably would have spent a lot more money by now, for sure. Have good car. You want the rest? <laughs> <laughs> How much did you give her? 150. How much is it? 180. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so you're going to give us 30 baht and change? If I've got it. I think she was pretty happy for me just to walk away with the way I'm 150. So. <laughs> there you go, there's another 20. Hold on. Kapkunka. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye. Way to make it more difficult, Dan. Well it done. It weren't me. Poor lady. She didn't tell me they're on offer, so I was trying to be honest and give her the right amount of money. But yeah. That's what I'm talking about when I say really nice people up here. Like she could have done me there, she could have said, yeah, give me 180 then. But she, she knew they were on offer, but I didn't know. And she still, she wouldn't take more money off me, she gave it back to me, that's awesome. That's awesome, we were all We were all very honest, that was a very honest exchange. Oh, finally made it home. Hour and a half walk, that was all together. Need to make some food quickly, have a shower, go straight to bed. It's half eight, and we've got to be up and getting picked up tomorrow morning. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. And getting picked up tomorrow morning at half six to go to the elephant sanctuary. So, yeah, let's get to it. Peace out.